All right, got a uh, new toy here. I got a uh, specific project in mind for this guy. Uh, so this is a plastic welder. Um, yeah, I didn't really even know this was a thing until fairly recently. So basically all it is is uh, just a big heat gun. It's basically like a... Um, a forced hot air um, uh, uh, for soldering, uh, reflowing joints, uh, whatever those are called, forced air, something or other. That's basically all it is. It's just a, a heat gun that uh, with a tiny little nozzle on it. So, um, <clears throat> and it comes with these attachments here. So you actually weld with a filler rod uh, just like you would with um, with metal. Uh, so I, I still need to practice with this thing a little more since uh, I just got it. Uh, so I figured I'd show you how it works here. I'm going to hook it up and let it warm up. It takes a minute or two to warm up. Um, and we'll prep a, a couple uh, plastic blanks here. And uh, I'll show you how that works. All right. So I've got it warming up in the background there. So basically what we're going to do is just a, uh, a butt weld. And I'm going to have to get some aluminum or something. You can probably hear the gun warming up in the background there. So basically what we're going to do is we're just going to, just like you would a, uh, a butt weld in sheet metal, or not sheet metal, but just metal metal, um, we're going to kind of uh, put fillets on the uh, edges here to give us a groove to lay material down in. Something like that. And uh, let me grab a uh, sheet of metal to put it on because it is going to get hot. Hopefully you can still see okay. I shut off the light just to kill the reflection. And then, uh, here, let me get this out of the way. Turn that back on for a second. Jeez, that is blinding. All right, so this is the filler rod. It's just uh, high-density polyethylene which is what this scrap material is too. This is just, you know, colored black. Um, but uh, this is basically just milk jug material um, is all it is. So uh, the heat gun, I can smell it. It's definitely warmed up. Definitely putting out some heat. So uh, I'll be back with that and I'll just show you how this works here. So I'm gonna slide the, uh, the rod in there first and let it get Slightly warm, yeah, that didn't take long at all. So we're good enough to temp. So we're just gonna place this on here. Yep. Might be a little difficult. Might have to clamp it in place. Stand by. All right. So now we're clamped in place. That should be good enough. All right, uh, so the gun's cooling down in the background. Uh, that's what that noise is. So I'm, I'm still learning how to do this myself. So I think I hung out just a little too long right there. But you can see once I got going here, it laid the bead down in there pretty good. And if we, it's pretty stout. I mean, I'm having to apply a lot of force to it to break it. But as you can see here, as I bend it, yeah, toward this end, you can see that the actual plastic is trying to bend before the weld bends, which is what you want for a good weld. So, yeah, but anyway, I thought that that was pretty cool. So, yeah, I got a big project coming up where I'm going to be needing to weld a bunch of uh, plastic sheets together. Um, and that was the tool I got to do the job and figured I'd show you that real quick. So, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.